Russia's foreign minister says Moscow is ready to deliver all the evidence it has of rebels using chemical weapons directly to the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons. We've been reporting on the use of chemical weapons in Aleppo for nearly a month now, but chemical attacks only make the mainstream headlines, it seems, if they're reported in the rebel-held part of the city. With more, here's Lizzie Phelan. CNN are running a video of a young boy with a headline claiming uh, that he is he has suffered from a chemical attack on East Aleppo. Now, this uh, video, which was filmed by a France-based organization called the Serious Charity, shows the boy in a hospital crying, uh, describing having seen yellow smoke during the attack. Now, CNN adds uh, as a footnote that it can't verify this video independently. It can't verify the details of the attack because their access to East Aleppo, like uh, most other media organizations, is heavily restricted. However, understandably, this report is causing huge waves on social media. Now, for the past month, RT has had a crew on the ground in the other parts of the city, in the western uh, government control parts of Aleppo. And our crew spoke to numerous victims of rebel uh, shelling who described symptoms of having inhaled chemical substances. We also spoke to numerous doctors who said that they've seen uh, patients also showing such symptoms. The Russian Ministry of Defense uh, has also released a statement confirming that it has uh, evidence that the opposition forces in East Aleppo have used both white phosphorus and chlorine gas, both highly toxic chemical substances, in their frequent attacks on civilian areas in West Aleppo. And this apparent lack of investigation by the OPCW today has caused the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, to weigh in. As I know from my colleagues in the Defence Ministry, we're examining the possibilities to bring the samples we gathered to the OPCW office in The Hague. So maybe then it would be difficult for them to avoid analysing them. Now, uh, RT has sent numerous requests to the OPCW uh, for a comment uh, on our crew's findings. We've sent links to our reports uh, showing uh, victims of apparent chemical attacks on West Aleppo. Well, I can tell you in response so far, we've received only a general link to the organization's latest report on Syria and this automatic email reply in which the OPCW just thanked us for our interest in chemical weapons and indeed the work of the body. Joining me now from Damascus is Zayed Haider, who's a writer and journalist at the El Safir newspaper. Sir, thanks for your time. The OPCW says it condemns any use of chemical weapons, but doesn't mention rebels using them in its latest report. Why is that? Well, usually the OPCW is usually interested in finding links to the, uh, to the Syrian authorities when it comes to attacks with uh, chemical weapons. This has been the essence of their reports since uh, 2013 and uh, the 2015 report as well. The issue here is, of course, different. We have, uh, uh, we have uh, evidence, as Mr. Lafrov has been saying, collected uh, from the uh, soil and from shell fragments saying that there is a, a, a absolute proof that toxic uh, weapons have been used in the attack on the uh, Aleppo neighborhoods, especially in Dahit al-Assad a few uh, days ago and even before in April when they have attacked uh, the uh, Kurdish neighborhood in Aleppo, uh, Sheikh al-Maqsud, and uh, with the same uh, types of uh, toxic gas uh, and uh, chloride. Uh, the issue here is, like always, it's political. They've, they're trying, they've always tried to point out that it is the Syrian authorities that have been using such uh, weaponry in, instead of really focusing on the terrorist militias that exist in the uh, suburbs of Aleppo and inside the eastern Aleppo as well. I mean, we've sent RT as a channel and our correspondents who've been there at the scene have sent in evidence, video evidence, that we've gathered direct to the OPCW regarding chemical weapons use uh, by the rebels. I can tell you there's been no coherent response. That doesn't surprise you then, no? Well, it doesn't surprise us. The, no, the interesting thing here happening is that Mr. Lafrov has said that OPC, uh, OPCW can send their in investigators uh, the moment they feel like it to uh, Aleppo to investigate for themselves and seek the proofs for themselves and maybe look at what the Russians have been doing in, in, in these terms. On the, on the, I tried before uh, coming here to the studio to check out if 
the Syrian authorities, especially the foreign ministry, have received any uh, application or any, any request from the Russian side to allow the uh, observers of OBCW to enter as soon as possible uh, or to, to travel as soon as possible to Aleppo. They have some, uh, they have some offices in Damascus based in, 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 the, in the Four Seasons Hotel, so probably that could happen very fast if they're willing to check out what the Russians have been seeing, the, the Russian activity on uh, observa observation and, and observating and investigating the uh, proofs of the uh, attack on uh, the uh, Dahit al-Assad uh, neighborhood. As we just reported, sir, before having our chat now, we're just telling our viewers that today, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Moscow's ready to deliver all the evidence which it has got. Is that going to trigger a proper investigation, do you think? Well, um, it has to be taken, taken step by step. If I understood what you're saying, the, the, the sound is not uh, quite uh, very clear. But uh, it has to be taken step by step. First, uh, there is the proof the Russians, the Russian investigati investigating team has found a proof that, that there has been use of toxic uh, 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 weapons, of chlorine in, in, in particular. Uh, if the uh, OPCW is ready to take this further, they will send their uh, investigators as well to look at the uh, what the Russians have been doing and to investigate maybe for themselves and take samples of the soil and then go further with it in, in terms of uh, uh, committing to the issue of who is really using the uh, chemical weaponry in, uh, in especially in the uh, battlefield of Aleppo. Zayed, thanks for your time today. Zayed Hader, writer and journalist at the El Safi newspaper joining us there in Damascus. Thank you.